combing the beach for shells has almost cost a Perth teenager his life. Good day, salty fam. We got a new fish today. Here's a Pacific sailfin tank. We'll get this guy acclimated and get him into the pond. What a little specimen. And once we've got him acclimated and in, we'll shoot down to the beach and search for some sea creatures. You. As you can see, he's happy and healthy. There's no signs of abrasions or cloudy eyes or anything. So, happy days. All right, let's get him in. He should settle in quite nicely. I haven't seen any signs of aggression from anybody in the pond so far, which is a win. The only annoying thing is I cannot get my clown tang to eat frozen or even, um, nori paper all he does is just clean my rocks and clean the side of the pond that's all right hopefully in the future we can get him eating everything all right let's go and check out what we can find at the beach i'm telling you we have some amazing amazing luck hello mr flagfin all right let's go to the beach It's another gorgeous day down here, Salty Fam. How are all the colours in all this macroalgae? The greens, the reds, the browns. It's it's pretty nice to look at. Like, wow, it, it's beautiful. I don't think the camera does it justice. Check out this little guy, Salty Fam. You should see the colours on him. When I first netted him up, he was blue and yellow, I swear. Like a, a dark blue and a pretty yellow. Now, you can't see it so good, but it's dark blue and yellow. Trust me, I promise. <laughs> He's awesome. What a specimen. Oh, how exciting, Salty Fam. Second time ever, Salty Fam, that I've seen a live one. Oh, there's another one. Get out of here. Here. Here's my net if you want to use that too. Maybe you want to hold this guy alive. Oh, we got two in one. One, two. So these are called common shore eels, and in my opinion, they are two of the most beautiful eels that you ever will see. I will go and put them in quarantine at home, I think, and see. Oh, this guy doesn't look good. He's doing cartwheels. 360 no scope, baby. I think these guys are a boyfriend and girlfriend, to be honest. And I don't think they're really doing too good at all. We'll take them home, quarantine them up, get them happy and healthy in a, um, Elon's old tank with the chiller. And then we'll probably re-release them unless they settle in really nice. And then we'll see if we can get them to start breeding. How exciting is that? But this one doesn't look very good at all. She's all white and losing flaky skin. So hopefully we can get them looking good. It's an Oki. It's a little Oki. Hey, mate. Hey, Oki. I don't want to get bitten. Well, we don't know. I think he's too big to be a bluey. Let's see if we can get him out to have a look. We scooped him out, salty fam. Put our little hermits there and we'll put them in the back. Okay. Hello. What if he climbs 
Oh, they're masters of escape, I'm no doubt. He will climb out at some point. Shall we put him there? Yeah, they're masters of escape. But watch him, let's, look, let's watch him do his thing. What amazing creatures Ockies are, eh? They're just so unique looking. My God, they are definitely like an alien. Well, you stay salty, Mr. Oki. Hope you have a good rest of your day. It was a pleasure to meet you. Maybe we'll see you down here again sometime. Couple of glass cardinals, I think. Glass minnows. They might even just be baby mullet, but they seem very long for mullet, so I don't think so. The little stripes on the side, maybe it's some kind of herring. All right, let's get these guys back with their mates. Hey fellas, over there. They seem to know. You can't see, but they just look straight back up with the school. Another casualty salty fern. This fella's been left high and dry. It looks like some kind of cod. What a shame. There's an ocky hole around here too, actually. I think it's underwater. We got a dried up pistol shrimp or some kind of baby. I just found it in this hole and I pulled it out. Let's have a look. He's dried up, poor fella, we'll pop him. And he's definitely, Dead. definitely Dead. not making it. Oh, there's something in there. Can you see? What is it? You gotta be super, super careful when you're doing stuff like this, Salty Fam. I'll show you what happened in Perth today on the exact day we were filming this. Ready? Check this out. Homing the beach for shells has almost cost a Perth teenager his life. The 18-year-old didn't realise he'd picked up a deadly sea creature. The scare has prompted a timely summer warning. No bigger than the palm of your hand, this blue ringed octopus could have killed 18-year-old Jacob Eggington. The Palmyra man found a shell for his niece at Shoalwater Beach yesterday and put it in his pocket. When he took it out to show her, this emerged. Just a few seconds later and the toddler would have been holding it. Jacob inspected his leg and found this small painless bite. Paramedics stretching him off the beach. He was treated at Rockingham Hospital for over six hours. Doctors saving his life from one of the world's most deadly toxins for which there is no antidote. And when they do bite, then that can be fatal within half an hour. It's hard to believe that something this tiny could cause that much damage. The medical advice, if someone is stung, is to keep that person as still as possible and call triple zero. Marine scientist Jennifer Verduin says they're so common at Perth beaches that she never enters the water without a pair of reef shoes. They're very good in hiding, so we wouldn't normally see them that often but they are there how crazy is that two little gobies or dragonettes blennies they're super cute we'll release these guys and this teeny tiny little one enjoy your day guys stay salty
We're back home, Salty fam. We brought these guys home. I usually wouldn't. I know I've took one in the past, but I usually wouldn't take these guys now, especially because I think they're a breeding pair, but they were cooking in that tide pond, and they really are not in a good way. If I release them now, they were just going to become food for something else. So I'm hoping that I can get them back to 100% health, and then I will release them unless they seem really happy. And then imagine if we can start breeding these guys and releasing the babies back down there. Hopefully you enjoyed that one, Salty Fam. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe. Subscribe. Hopefully you have a great holiday season. How cool was it today? Catching these guys, the hockey and all that stuff. If you want to see these guys settle into their tank, they're going into quarantine behind us and then they'll be going inside. Make sure you join us next year for that. Hopefully you have a great holiday season, an even better new year. And have a great Christmas. Have a great Christmas. But until next time, stay, stay salty. salty. Yeah.